Hi, and welcome to Libby Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our paranormal news and discussion. And we are going to be talking about an article. It's kind of been all around the news for a while now, so it might be old news to you, but we still want to talk about it. Uh, and this is about the mysterious monolith that has appeared in Utah. So there was a helicopter survey of bighorn sheep living in the wilderness of Utah. And they discovered this weird <laughs> monolith. It appeared uh, planted in the ground, according to local media. Um, the weird find was made this was made on I forget what day it was. It was a Wednesday uh, by officers, probably a few weeks ago now, maybe almost a month. Uh, with Utah Police Department uh, and Public Safety as they help the state's Division of Wildlife with their annual creature count, as they flew over the southern part of the state, one of the biologists aboard the copter noticed something highly unusual, which brought their work to a sudden stop. Uh, they say they flew over it, and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa turn around. Um, yeah, so this, this, you know, this monolith is uh, 10 to 12 feet tall, rectangular metal object. They say it's not dangerous, though it was undoubtedly mysterious. The team observed that it did not appear to have fallen from the sky, and instead was likely planted in the ground. As for its purpose, they initially suspected that perhaps it was somehow connected to, uh, with NASA. Uh, maybe as a means of contacting satellites, but ultimately concluded that it appeared more like to be some kind of artwork rather than a scientific instrument. Uh, it says the monolith was in its place, um, although a group has opted not to reveal its precise location so that ill-equipped thrill-seekers don't go and try and need to get rescued from going to a remote location. <laughs> they should... failed. They went and found them anyway. Yeah, they did. Um, but... Uh, to update, the monolith has suddenly disappeared. Yes, the last couple days. Yeah, but I mean, it's gone. They don't say anything about tire tracks, right? It's gone from there. It's gone from there. I think it popped up somewhere else. No, different one. We'll get to that next week. Don't ruin next week's discussion. Did you see that one? Sorry, I got. I got a lot of questions to ask. Oh, we don't have time for that. So. Sum it up. It's not good. <laughs> is this a real photo? Yes. Yes. So they were like close. Yeah. On the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Now it wasn't one or two people. It, it was. It's literally professional biologists and surveyors of land and stuff that were just tracking all the creatures that are in there, and they happened to stumble across this. And I think they said based on like. Google Earth searches, like it wasn't there prior. Yeah. Like it, it just. Like, yeah, they were using like the Google satellite map to see, like to go back, and there was satellite nothing there. If I keep going right, right now, it's not there. It's not live. No, it's not. But they're <laughs> saying they're saying it had to have shown up from the last time that picture was taken to what it did. Yeah. Which who knows what that time frame is? I have no idea. I can't imagine that's a section they update regularly. No, probably not. Not a lot changing out there. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's gone. gone. Within the last couple of days, yeah. So when this video airs, it'll probably be about a week ago it disappeared. It's a hoax. Yeah. Can you drive to the spot? No, you have to hike, I think. Yeah. yeah. I know people have done it. So before it disappeared, there was a couple articles about a couple people that went to the spot, took photos with it and everything. So it is real. It's it was there. Yeah. Don't remember. Just uh, there's some kind of barricade that you're not. You can't drive past or something. Can I ask like a, yeah. a really dumb question? Yeah. Who found it? Who took the photo? The biologists, uh, whoever these guys are. So these guys that was here. Yeah. Were on the site. Yes. Yes. Did they happen to take a sample of it. I don't know that they didn't say. Didn't say. You suck as a biologist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they don't know how to deal with metallurgy, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that thing's metal. I can't do this. So, personally, I call hoax. I call hoax. If you found this, it was never there before, you go to the site and you don't test it? They had to have done something and they're just not telling us, maybe? Well, I don't know. I haven't heard of anything. 
I don't know. But I'm I'm inclined to, to think hoax. I mean, I mean, it's not a hoax. Like I don't think hoax is a strong word. <laughs> Maybe it's a precious project, piece yeah. of artwork that they uh, that somebody put out there, and once that hoax started, they're like, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> you know, well, yeah. social experiment. Like I'm, I'm yeah. leaning towards it's got to be something like that. Like millennials hoax. I'll say it. A hoax. <laughs> Deal with it. Your feelings are hurt. Fuck you. It's a hoax. If you didn't take samples, it's a hoax. Yeah. It, it's fake. Yeah, it doesn't and say anything about that. Everyone that was involved that. in it knew about it and they faked it. And all of a sudden it's gone. Is it really gone? Or is it really still there? Uh, supposedly it's gone. I don't know if anybody's been there since. We'll never know. Go now. Go. Everybody living in Utah by this? Could you go there? Yeah, what is that one situation? Is it still I lived in Utah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone looking for that thing. There's a you whole lived lot of, in Utah? I did. Oh, I said. I, I, there's a whole lot of desert in Utah that I wouldn't go venturing out Do you think it's possible you can find something like that just by flying over right? Hey, what is that thing? You would definitely see it. Because, I mean, I'm, I mean they, they, yeah, they're literally the 12 feet, like Utah desert. hundreds of miles of no, flat nothingness out there. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's also metal. metal it's probably reflecting the sun yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't know if it's metal. I thought the article said it was metal. They didn't test it. Ah, it well, looks, that's, looks metallic. I guess that's true. <laughs> metallic. Metal monolith is what they're calling it. Uh, let's see. Did they say anything about testing it? I don't think so. No, they don't say anything. Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen with it, there hasn't been a whole lot of like description about like you know if, if there's anything on it or whatnot. Like well, it looks like it's just plain. Yeah. Maybe when we're uh, maybe when we're mentally ready, we'll be able to. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. Or is the aliens? Secret it's elevator. Not aliens. <laughs> Not aliens <Tom. laughs> All right. That's all we got for this week. Let us know what you think in the comment section below of this hoax. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can also click the little notification bell to know when all of our content is uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys again for joining us, and until next time, take care, guys.